Paris, thanks for that live report. Parents in Leverett are calling for change after years of witnessing cars passing red flashing lights on their children's school bus on their way to and from school. Western Mass News reporter Kristen Burdell joins us live after getting answers. Kristen. Chris, local legislators have now stepped up to advocate for more laws surrounding school bus safety. This as these parents' calls for change become more urgent each day. These signs can be seen alongside Route 63 in Leverett, urging drivers to slow down. Dozens of cars drive past the home of Wes and Audra Gosensky daily, and now the couple is calling for change. Drivers are uh, unfortunately ignoring bus safety laws as they fly down this road and they pass our school bus with its red lights flashing, its stop sign out as our as our children are getting off and on the bus. Our children have had their lives risked too many times and we, we want change. Community members and leaders gathered here alongside a long plane Ronan Leverett to promote school bus safety. There are approximately a dozen bills before the legislature, not only before the Transportation Committee, but also before Public Safety, Homeland Security, and the Judiciary Committee. The Gosenskis have a 14-year-old and 11-year-old who attend school in town. They share numerous videos with Western Mass News taken over the past two years, including this one, where you can see one car pass their daughter's school bus as she was getting on the bus. And in this video, you can see police even pulling over another car that sped past the school bus. The scariest one for me was one time my daughter was getting off the bus. She, 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 she started to proceed across the road and a vehicle passed between me and my daughter. My daughter and I were about 12 to 15 feet apart. She was in the middle of the road and the vehicle passed right in between us. Senator Joe Comerford and State Representative Natalie Blay were also in attendance on Tuesday, trying to raise awareness about their push to introduce more legislation at the State House surrounding this issue. I really want to make progress on this incredibly concerning, very dangerous issue. One local driving school also stressed the importance of abiding school bus laws that are already in place in the Bay State. We do teach uh, adults and teenagers every day uh, in driver's ed that they have to use extreme caution around school buses. Uh, they have to stay about 100 feet behind a school bus that is stopped. And whenever they see any lights flashing, uh, whether they're yellow or red, and that the stop arms out, they do have to make a complete stop. And the Gosenskis tell us they are not alone in their push to slow drivers down down at their road. Over the last couple of years, it's just been exponentially climbing, you know, the, the number of violations, the yeah. number of people that pass the bus. Ten years ago, the woman who lives on the other end of the road had this happen very, very frequently. Sometimes I wonder if, you know, people are just traveling a bit too fast and they, they don't think they can react fast enough to stop. But really, the, the bus drivers put their lights on far in advance on this road because they know how fast the traffic goes. Now, each of the new bills introduced will go ahead to a hearing before they're taken up for any type of vote at the State House. Reporting live, Kristen Burnell, Western Mass News.